All right, sorry guys, we're back. Oh, is it on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. All right, we're All good. Right. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, so we're getting into game number one. It's going to be of uh, top 48. It is yeah. going to be Dragneel versus Nico. Yeah, and we just saw Kiraflex versus um, Rugal. Uh, yeah. And really close game at the end. And double counter pick. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Character counter pick. That was pretty cool. Smash ultimate, man. It's a crazy game. It's hard to solo a character in this game. But, yeah. you know what, speaking of good solos, it is Nico on the yeah. plate right <laughs> now. I mean, said that. Doing it with the shulk. You know, I'm pretty sure he's still our current number one. Uh, Nico? Yeah. Yeah, and I would, I've even seen a few tier lists that say, like, you know, Shulk is top five. So Yeah, you know. there's some wildly varying opinions about Shulk. I think he's a very good character. Right. Nico, I always feel like SoCal bias exists on the tier list because oh, yeah. we think, like, Shulk is broken, ne uh, Elegant's broken, mm -hmm. and then other regions no that don't have Nico and Elegant think, ah, oh, they're all right characters, I guess. Yeah, right. Oh, but that's so cool, like, when those uh, character specialists emerge and they just make the characters seem unreal to play, like as and against. Exactly. Yeah. And Nico, he always surprises with every match. I feel like every match he does something, he's like, huh, oh, that works. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good way of putting it. Even Daniel reeled back in his chair the, like, reduced short hop height with the, sh with the speed art, maybe caught him off guard, thought maybe he couldn't close that gap as fast as he could. Uh, but Nico just jumping in. Now, he does notably I think Palu does very well in control. Yeah, something about Palu just kind of, uh, she wins a lot of trades, right? Yeah. And so, like, um, Shulk is a character that, you know, you got to get in there, and I think that just kind of somehow beats out his aerials and just gets in anyway. Yeah, now, sh she doesn't have the same kill confirms that she had in the previous patch, and that's probably large part of what makes the matchup so difficult when Nico doesn't have shield art online. It's going to be hard, or it was probably pretty easy to get kills on a slow character like Shulk. But now he doesn't have to necessarily worry about dying to grab a ledger. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I, I feel like, I don't know, I'm not seeing a lot of area or, or like special moves from this Palu, uh, from Dragneel. And I don't know, I tend to think that when like uh, someone is being forced to play kind of a limited set, you know, like they don't use all their specials. Uh, yeah. He's kind of playing to Nico's game. Because I don't see why Palu shouldn't be spamming projectiles. Yeah, she's really trying to fight Nico in that second forward smash connecting yeah. actually kind of high. I'm not sure if Nico expected to get hit at that distance. Yeah, right? And that was like the second, like, just raw Yeah, smash. he did one, Nico jumped, and then he did another, and Nico landed on it. Yeah. Hey, it works, well, it works. Shoot. Down throw gets the forward air confirm afterwards. Pretty even percents. I always see Nico run away with uh, games, so it must mean that Dag Dragneel's been practicing. Yeah, he's definitely been one of our up-and-comers as of late. You know, making this game versus Nico rather close. He's still up in percentage by about 20. I'll be asked you'll close up some of that gap, but it's still not going to kill. The F don't catch at the start of the teleport. Yeah, that's a cool thing. Like, uh, a lot of players, they have this thing where they'll throw an aerial, auto-cancel, and immediately yeah. just tilt. And yeah, super good. On a, no, it's pretty ironic how like something like that, like an F tilt, yeah. get you so tilted, you know? I suppose so. Good way to put it. Uh, yeah. You know, Palutena's warp, uh, along with most other teleport recoveries, have that you know weakness at the start where you can just hit them. Yeah. Uh, has a pretty good visual cue, and Nico ready for it, able to take full advantage of it and get game number one. Yeah, and I feel like those teleportation ones, uh, those uh, recoveries have kind of more of a tell in this yeah. game, right? In the last game, it was just like, ah, I'm a guess. A little like bit, yeah. Guard. Like, I can see the, the little, um, I don't know, like the e the essence of Palutena going to where she's going. Yeah, there is a bit of a visual cue that just show where Palu is planning on arriving at the end of her warp. Nico going to use his shield art to get out of that, but good stuff from Dragneo, just keep the damage on, going for these, like, little hits that have low hits done so you can keep, you know, doing more and more damage. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good 45, uh, good 45%, and it almost even led to a stock. I mean, but Nico going way out there, catches the jump with the forward air. Wow. Wait, four, five, that's like, that's like the, the edge of that combo. Like, that was yeah. the he last He could not one. have gone any further. Yeah. It? Like, any, any further, and he probably could have lived because he was, like, a Savage part or something. Yeah, but sometimes you just get scared. You DI in on a move. You shouldn't get hit by a second one, and you're gone. Yeah. 
But yeah, well, what do you think like uh, is the counter defense to like uh, a good choke like Nico? Because I know I've found, I've run into some that it's just like none of the same things that usually work for other characters work on Nico. I mean, on Shulk and Nico probably. Well, in general, you know, things don't work quite the same on Shulk because he's always changing, like, weight and, you know, fall speed, things like that with his Monado arts. But the, th the Ooh, biggest thing... Man. Damn. Sorry, the down throw into the, like, here his, his Monado gets the up the, like, really good stuff from Nico. But like I was saying, Shulk doesn't have great frame data. You know, that's always kind of been his tell, even since Flash 4, you know, where he wasn't considered a great character. In this game, he can kind of remedy it a little bit. But it's still not the best, where Palutena can kind of overwhelm him with things like the photos and the nails to beat out the startup of Shulk's moves. Yeah. And uh, that explosive flame is taking the stock, and that's actually the first one I've seen in the match, I think. So that's pretty... It's cool that I got the stock. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a laggy move, but, like, if you're able to throw it out at the right time, it's a super good one, and Dragnol definitely aware of when the right time is. Yeah, yeah, case in point, that was, like, exactly the right time. I forward throw actually not opting for the down throw anymore. I, I like that punishes the whiff grab with a back air. Tries to get a forward smash hard lead, but another hard read from Nico. He knows the jump is coming, but he's not able to position correctly for it. Yeah, so that was a pretty good recovery on the, the right side of the stage because, um, I mean, I, I guess it afforded him just another.